Hey y'all, it's Lindsay. I have been asked multiple times in my comments sections of my videos, what do I do for egg white protein bread? What is my recipe? Some sort of variation of that question. And I've always just kind of said, I just, I don't really have a recipe. There are dozens of them out there. I don't really feel qualified to be the uh, the one to give a, a, a phenomenal recipe. Neely has done amazing work with the egg white protein bread. This all stems from Maria Emmerich, um, Wendy over at Loving It on Keto. She has done lots of wildly awesome things with her egg white bread. Um, and Neely is indigo Neely. I'm 99.78% positive that everybody who watches my videos is familiar with Indigo Neely. I needed to make bread today. I decided I'm just gonna show you what I do, give you the recipe that I have just sort of come to do the most often. A lot of these measurements are just what I have figured out work well for my taste. I think that the egg white protein bread is very subjective. So experiment with it. Test out a few additional ingredients. Let me get you set up and we can start talking through this egg white bread recipe. I'm going to add 368 grams of egg whites to my mixing bowl here. And then, I'm going to swap my containers here and do okay that is 10 grams of my cream of tartar and then this is allulose and I will do let's see Okay, 25 grams of the allulose. And I'm not gonna add my salt just yet or my other ingredients. I am gonna take my whisk attachment for my KitchenAid mixer and just kind of integrate those two things before I place it in my stand mixer. So I have my KitchenAid stand mixer Lock it up, plug her in. I'm gonna start on low for about 30 seconds and then gradually increase it up to full speed. Now that I have that timer set for five minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and line my bread pan with some parchment paper. Crumpling it up like this helps it to sort of fit better into my pan without having any rips or tears or anything like that. I do reuse my parchment paper probably a dozen times before I toss it out. No sense in having to redo this over and over again. And this bread pan is actually from Ikea, so it's larger than a standard loaf pan. All right, that was five minutes. And I need a spatula. I just want to clean up this little top spot. I have found that whisk or um, sending my other ingredients through the KitchenAid mixer. With this, the egg white protein powder, the whole egg powder, those things, it really creates um, too tough of a texture. And so I have gone to where I actually don't do that anymore. Instead, allow me to show you what I do. Instead, I'm gonna zero out my egg white protein powder here if it will zero. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do about 80 grams of protein, egg white protein powder. Not about, I am doing 80 grams. There's 74, let's get six more. There we go. 
exactly 80 grams of my egg white protein powder. That's about half a teaspoon of salt. Next up is some whole egg powder. I'm gonna zero that out. All right, I usually do 12 grams of egg white powder. That was 11, now I've got 12. And last but not least, some acacia fiber. I have found that I really like this particular fiber in general. So, that's fine. I like to do about 20 grams of the acacia fiber for a full recipe of the egg white protein bread. Okay, so what do we have in here? We have raw egg whites, liquid egg whites, the cream of tartar, allulose, and we whipped that all up. Then I added some salt, egg white protein powder, whole egg powder, and acacia fiber. And I stored that on my stand mixer so it wouldn't get gross. And I just kind of used my big giant whisk to incorporate this. A little bit messy, but that's just the way it goes. I also feel like I'm able to better get the edges and all the way down to the bottom of my stand mixer bowl. My goal is to not over mix. Okay, I'm all done with that. Okay, hand all rinsed up. And it's fairly lumpy, it's not super smooth, but that does not create a problem for me. And now in my parchment lined pan, I can distribute my batter. Mine almost always looks super crackly on top. I've never been able to get like a perfectly smooth um, looking glossy almost kind of a top on mine, but it all comes out in the wash because it tastes the same. It tastes amazing regardless of whether it is a beautiful slice of bread or a slightly less attractive slice of bread. I'm trying to avoid any air pockets by zhuzhing my batter without damaging the height too terribly. I guess damaging is the wrong word. Compromising would have been the better word. This zone has a lot more white to it, which means that it wasn't quite as well incorporated, but it's kind of a balancing act between getting a perfectly even smooth batter and losing your volume on your egg whites. I have my loaf all ready to go into the oven. The oven is fully preheated at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. So I got it in there. I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes. And we shall check on this when the timer goes off. While the bread is baking, I'm going to make the best use of my time. I'm gonna go hand wash my mixer attachment, my uh, whisk and my stainless steel bowl. They are dishwasher safe. However, I just, I have the time and I don't have the space in my dishwasher, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hand wash the things and sort of tidy up my kitchen while, uh, while that bakes and I might get dinner started, but that's not a part of this video. We are down to the final few seconds. Let's catch our timer. Okay, so we're still at 25, um, 325 here. I'm gonna clear that out and just have my oven turned off. Let's see here, it's not terribly hot because of this parchment paper. Um, this has turned out quite pretty. It looks almost like a French baguette. Um, 
Oh, that is hot. Whenever you grab for too many seconds. Okay. I'm not going to do that anymore. I now am going to let this rest in the cooling oven with it just slightly um, propped open here for, let's go ahead and time it. I'm going to do it for 20 minutes or so to allow that to cool down a little bit more slowly. I found that mine will wind up compressing, compacting, sinking a little bit more often if I don't follow this step. It will still happen if I do follow this step, but it's less often that it does sort of like crunch the sides in or, you know, become a wonky shape. All right, so my cooling timer has gone off and we're gonna snag a pot holder. Actually, this shouldn't be terrible. And as you can, well, this pan is still hot. As you can see, my bread has fallen quite a bit before. You could see all the way down to the bottom of this crevice. But anyway, I'm going to pull this out and allow it to cool completely. This is a beautiful loaf of bread today. It's very soft, which I like, which also means Jared, my husband, is more likely to agree to eat some of this. He really loves my one gram net carb keto bread, my low carb bread. I do have a video sharing that and a printable recipe that that video links to if you are interested in that bread. But this is my version of the egg white protein bread. Gosh, it just looks so lovely. I think we need to slice this. Alrighty. I like to either tip it over on the side where it's more smooth and less um, irregular so that I can get an even slice or you can even flip it all the way upside down. I find I can support the irregular side a little bit better if I have the irregular side in my hand rather than on the board. And this is my large bread knife, so it definitely has a bigger serration on it, which means that it's a little bit more aggressive with my cut here, but that is a-okay. I like to support that sliced bread with my finger as I cut through here. And I'd say this turned out to be a beautiful piece of bread. It has a nice crumb to it. It's very, very soft. It does have a little bit of that sort of uh, styrofoamy, styrofoamy kind of like sound to it, but it's not terrible. And whenever you squish it, it doesn't bounce back immediately. All right, taking a taste test. Oh, yum. It may not be actual Wonder Bread, <laughs> but it sure tastes like an amazing replacement. So this is the recipe that I have been using for quite some time now. So I won't slice everything here. I will, however, take it and add it to my egg white bread box right here. I do have a desiccant packet in there to sort of manage the humidity level. Um, this is part of a baguette style loaf and those two are the ends. When I get enough ends in um, stored up, I take those and I turn those into the uh, protein flour. So I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna move that around. But I also want this to like be absolutely 100% cool. I'm gonna let that just hang out there for about another hour. I do have this other bread box here. This is not airtight. I found that it was really good for my breads, but it's also good for the other things that I bake for the girls. So it's currently in use. But this one right here is airtight. I do find that the tops of my bread does get a little bit tackier in here, which is why I have a desiccant packet. I should probably have about two or three of those in this size container, but I do not at the moment. So anyway... That is my version of the egg white protein bread. It turns out awesome. I, I just, I love it. So good. Makes great toast. 
I shouldn't talk with my mouth full of bread. All right, that is all I have to share with you about my egg white protein bread. I think I will try to put a printable recipe over um, in the link down below for you so that you can print it off if you want to. This is one of those recipes where your mileage may vary. The humidity in your area may be different than mine. Your home humidity may be different. Your pans may be different. You just like there are so many little tiny variables in this chemistry experiment that it's very difficult to pinpoint exactly what um, what could go wrong or what improved things. It's just a lot of trial and error. And thus far, I've gotten the most consistent results with this specific recipe. And I also just have it embedded in my brain so I don't really have to think about it whenever I go to make more bread. Um, what else? I think that's all I got for you. I hope to see you in the next video.